The Central Public Library built in 1906 and half of the money was bequeathed by An Andrew Carnegie, the famous Victorian philanthropist. Um, basically his uh, ruling was that if uh, he gave the money to any town or city in Britain, and he did like to give money to Scottish and Blackpool uh, towns and uh, you know, areas and, and that sort of thing, because he liked the, the Scottish ones and the Blackpool ones, um, it had to be started at his bequest, at, at the time he wanted it to be started to be built. So obviously Blackpool wanted to find somewhere that hadn't got to be demolished, it was already flat, start building almost immediately. Um, so, uh, there was only one place in the town centre at that time, the turn of the 1900s, that was like that, and it was here, because it was a bowling green, so it had no major buildings on it, just a couple of little sort of tin sheds, uh, and the rest of it was just grass, there was no building to speak of at all, and therefore the council thought, hmm, where can we get that's a bit sharp to start building if Andrew Carnegie throws us the dosh a bit sharpish like? And they thought, if we buy this, compulsorily purchase it, which they did, then we can start building at, at a you know, drop of a hat sort of thing, and we, then we don't lose the money, or half the money. That's basically what happened. Now, the bowling green was run by a gentleman called Little Ben. He was called Little Ben because he was not surprisingly called Ben. He was very little. He was only about four foot six. Anyway, uh, very successful as a bowling green proprietor, but not very successful as anything else. So once they bought it off him for next to nothing, they compulsorily purchased him and gave him like a tenner for the lot. It was ridiculous what they gave him in the end. It was it was stupid. What about a tenth of its real value for the for the land? And of course, he was then out of business. He tried other ventures and failed, and basically died penniless. And he swore, apparently on his deathbed, that he would get his own back on the council. Now, anyone who's seen Ghostbusters has seen the beginning of the film where all the books are flying from one shelf to the other. Uh, that's the very beginning of the film. And basically, that's what happens here, according to what has been said by librarians and other people who've been in here at night. The interesting part is, and where it perhaps ties in with Little Ben, is all the books that move are only on the lower two shelves. Because if you're only four foot six, you can't quite reach up the top ones, can you? So it's sort of, perhaps, ties in that uh, he's getting his own back on the council, uh, scaring all the, uh, the local librarians etc. So that's the story of Little Ben and uh, how he relates to the library and why he's perhaps getting his own back on the council long after his death. <laughs> right, go on.